Hello, my name is Justin Patterson. I'm an application engineer here at QTE Manufacturing Solutions. I'm here to show you the 10th and final installment in our What's New in Mastercam 2024 series. Uh, this one is in regards to turret mounted angled milling heads inside of our mill turn environment. Let's go ahead and get started. So in Mastercam 2024, you now have the ability to find these angled turret mounting milling heads. Um, these can be set by you. These can be tilted work plane milling heads. It all depends on the milling head itself. But we now have the ability of defining these inside of our mill turn environments. Again, like our B-axis contouring we did, this does require the mill turn environment. This is not supported in standard lathe yet. Um, this is strictly for mill turn environments. Um, so as we can see in this slide, uh, before we, we were always able to do turning style uh, angled locators inside of mill turn, but now we have the ability of doing our live tooling, our milling heads. And you know, here's a couple of different examples uh, of what we're working with. Um, so, I mean, pretty much it's, you know, just divided into two sections, turning tools and milling tools, uh, which again, this is focusing on our, our milling side uh, for the, the locator. So, uh, as you can see, we can specify the angle in the component. So, you can set the angle like what we see here on the left, uh, or you can have one that's a uh, G68 style, you know, like a tilt plane created in the post. It'll actually index that angled head. So um, I'm going to go ahead and dive directly into the uh, live demonstrations, probably easier to show it that way on how to bring one of these heads in and, and how to actually define the tool path. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So what we have here is we have our, our part here. Um, we also have a series of uh, files that are the actual tool locators, one for the, the angle tool locator, one for the upper turret and one for the lower turret. We'll need to actually define both of them depending on where you're using that. But how to jump into be able to start to define this locator is if you actually open up your code expert, when you launch the mill turn, this is your IOF file that gets launched. This is your code expert IOF file. So over here on the right hand column, you'll actually see um, what we have uh, to where we have all the different sections you can jump into. What we're, we're concerned about is the component library right now. We're going to jump into the inch version of the component library. So if we double click this, it's actually going to launch us a new session of Mastercam. Okay, so there's our new session of Mastercam. Uh, for right now, we're just going to green check because we need to actually import our model that we have for the aggregated head. So if we go here to the file tab, we're going to go to merge. And we're going to map to where we actually have that stored. So right here, I have a lower aggregate head and an upper. We're going to worry about the upper aggregate head. So I'm going to go and merge that file in. Okay. And as you can see, there's our file right there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and offset by, you know, 2000 for now. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to, uh, let me explain this real quick. So if I go here to top view, we want to make sure this is our orientation. So upper turret tools were, were actually pointed in the Y negative direction uh, in this top view. And then obviously, if this was a lower, we would be pointing that direction. So that's kind of important to know. So let's go ahead and green check that. Okay. Once that's done, we can jump back into the component library. So if we go to the machine tab and machine definition, this will now launch our component library here. Okay, we wanna come in here, we're gonna actually expand our upper group. Okay, if we expand that, that's actually all our tools in there. Okay, so we can go in here to our upper turret. We can right click, say add component, and we're gonna grab our milling tool locator right here. Pick that. Okay, this gives us the ability, we need to go pick our model. So if we go down here to model, we're gonna say select from graphics window, okay. We're going to pick this, this section here of the, the tool, of the aggregate head. Okay, we're going to leave the barrel alone. We're going to pick this session section. Then we're going to go come up here to our milling tool locator and right-click and add subcomponent and add a barrel. 
When we do that, that barrel automatically defines a station for it, okay? Now we need to go define the barrel. So we're gonna go back down here and pick from graphics window. We're gonna pick our barrel. And there we go, we defined both the milling locator and the barrel itself. Now we need to go define what is considered the center line or the center of rotation. So we're gonna go pick our cursor point here. And we are gonna go define the center of this arc here, which would be the center of that rotation. So again, if you hit C on your keyboards for the auto cursor shortcut for arc center, we pick that. That is now our center of rotation for this aggregate head. Okay, then we're gonna go to the station here and we're gonna define it. This is where depending on what kind of aggregate head you have, is this a manual where you're setting the angle? You can jump in here when we're actually defining the tool, you can jump in here and set the angle here, or we can pull it from an operation. For this example, we're gonna use pull from operation, okay? And then is this a speed uh, multiplier, okay? So we have where we can uh, increase, decrease, but speed multiplier is like if this is, you know, one that takes whatever the input RPM is, let's use the example 2,000 RPMs, it's going to multiply it up to 4,000 RPMs. So that, that would be a, a two times multiplier. Or is it a reverse spindle? So we go clockwise to get a counterclockwise, so on and so forth. So we just define all this in, in this section here. We're going to go ahead and green check to this. And you'll see when we scroll down here to the bottom, we have just created our milling tool locator right here, okay? Now we can rename that. You have every ability to rename that, but we're just gonna remember that's what that's called. We can right click on, on it and say view component group, okay? That shows you, uh, well, that's actually showing me everything in that group, I'm sorry. Let's say just view. There's my aggregate head, and then we can do view component and parent. So now it's showing it located on your actual turret in the correct location, okay? We're then gonna go hit green check here. Uh, this pops up, says you've made changes, you wanna save it, I sure do. Say yes, okay, that'll close the Milturn component library. We're then gonna come up here and hit save on the Mastercam file. Then you're gonna get this said that it's found uh, in the MassCam database, you can blah, blah, blah. We're gonna save the database to the machine file. We're gonna save that to the IOF.machine file. So we're gonna green check that as well. And we're just gonna do save. We're just gonna overwrite what we have. And that's all it's going to take. Um, we can then jump into our IOF file right here and you'll notice you get your little asterisks right here. This is where we need to make sure we save to our IOF file. So as soon as I do that, I hit save, you notice my asterisk goes away. So that's all you have to do to actually bring the aggregate head into the Milturn uh, machine itself. Now you only have to do this one time once it's brought in, uh, it's saved to the library, it's saved to this GMD file right here. So that's all the work that it takes for that. So next we're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, throwing a toolpath on. So let me go ahead and open that file. Okay, so here's the part we're gonna do. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna uh, face this angled uh, face right here. So if we're gonna jump in here to our milling tab, we're gonna go jump into face, and I'm just gonna pick that whole face so we chain it just like that. Okay, we're gonna green check. We're gonna go grab ourselves a 3 8 in, three eighths end mill. So let's jump into here, let's go filter. So let's just grab ourselves a 0.375 flat end mill. Okay, just like that. Then we wanna right click on this. We wanna say get angled head, okay? Okay, so we're right here. Uh, we wanna come in here and we wanna load our aggregate milling head onto the upper turret. So you can see we have both the, we're showing both the upper and the lower turret. And in our list here, it's showing both upper and turret style locators. But we can come up here and we can, filter it and we can say, hey, which one do we want to look at? Well, I just want to look at the upper turret. So as you can see, it shows me all upper turret um, locators that I can actually put in there. Well, paying attention to what I've got, I've actually got this tool is numbered as tool number two. So I'm going to go grab our milling tool locator that we created earlier. I'm going to click and hold and drag and drop this into index number two. Okay, we've loaded it in index number two on the machine. I can then take this tool and drag and drop it into that station. 
okay? So if I was to view this, you're gonna see it doesn't look correct, but it, it will, just bear with me. So there's our tool. Um, the tool's actually inside of that. Now we gotta see, if we come in here, we can right click and say set projection length. It, this rotates my tool around just like that. So it's actually pointed up. So I can come in here and pull this out to whatever length I want. Now I do wanna remove that holder that we have defined inside of the uh, operation itself. But I'm gonna set that projection length to right there. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now, if I say view component and children, you'll see there it is, looks correct um, on our screen. Now, it, like I said, I do have that holder that I can go in there and remove. And what I would do, um, and, and I'll actually show you, is I would just set a ER25 style call, it, whatever your aggregate head has, I would just create a holder for that. So. For this, we're gonna green check. Now we're gonna get this warning here. This is simply saying that you have a, a speed adjuster uh, or the reverse. One of those things is set in this aggregate head. It's just warning you that that's happened. That's okay. It's good, hit okay, okay. So there we go. We've loaded that tool with the aggregate head on there. And again, I'm gonna go into my holder and I'm gonna edit this holder, okay. And let's just say we make it you know, 0 0.375, 0 0.2, 0 0.375. You know, just for the sake of this, I, again, I would make one that was specific to um, what call it I have on that aggregate head. So in the setup section, because we define this as a, a tilted work plane, we are going to let the tool pass set it. So I'm going to do a plane rotation derived from geometry. Okay. And then I'm going to jump right in here to the cut parameters. And if by looking at it, I hit the, uh, the blue plus here. You can see it's kind of cutting the wrong direction. I'm gonna come in here and switch the angle. I'm gonna say 90 degrees, uh, zero stock to leave. So if I do that, okay, let's go ahead and green check. And there's our toolpath, okay? Our toolpath's gonna to come in and just wipe across this. Okay, so I went ahead and before we go into simulation, I threw a roughing toolpath to remove all this material here so we can actually see a good representation um, of what's happening. So let's go ahead and go into our simulation. We're gonna hit G1 to, to launch into our code expert. Okay, it's been launched. We're gonna go ahead and launch our machine simulation. Let that load up. Okay, here we go. We have our part in there. I'm gonna hide the housing of the machine. Let's go ahead and watch this thing. Let's go ahead and rough. We're gonna rough the OD real quick, rough that front face. Okay, get rid of all that. Now there's our aggregate head right there, okay? Coming in, there you go. It's it's set the appropriate angle. Rewind it a little, let's get it back to here. Let's hit pause, let's rewind it. And as you can see, it sets that angle on the tool based on the toolpath geometry and comes across. So that's that's how the, the milling aggregate head works uh, inside of MasterCam 2024. Uh, again, if you have any further questions, uh, please feel free to reach out, out to us and our support team. We'd be glad to give you a hand and um, hope you enjoy your day.